New technology has finally reached our traffic light system and it's promising to make things better around the city. News Channel 5's Jennifer Reyes shows us how it works. Traffic lights help bring order to chaos, but accidents or even nearby construction can impact just how effective the lights are. That's because our traffic lights can't adapt to these constantly changing conditions, but new technology could soon change that. Right now, there's over about 180 cities in the U.S. that have this system. Michael Moritz is talking about adaptive traffic signals. He's an expert on the subject and is in town this week talking with state and local leaders. You can get some very significant improvements uh, much more cost effectively. Marie says these new lights are very similar to what we're used to seeing. The biggest difference is that they're all connected to a network that allows them to communicate with each other and they can change as needed. But he says these high tech lights should only be used in certain places. I think what's important is looking where to best apply the technology. He suggests Broadway, where traffic changes depending on what's going on downtown, or maybe parts of Green Hills. Adaptive traffic signals could also eliminate the need for Metro police officers at major events because instead of manually having to change the traffic signals, they could be doing it from a centralized location. Metro Public Works says they're aware of this new technology but aren't ready to go in that direction just yet. Before you can go to new technology, you got to replace your basic stuff. Right now, the city is in the process of replacing over 800 controllers. Once they do that, they'll work to synchronize the signals. If there's a 40% opportunity to improve traffic, synchronization can do 35% of it without any disruption to the, to the infrastructure. It's all inside this computer. One thing is clear. We need to find a way to keep traffic flowing smoothly. And no doubt improving our traffic lights will be part of that. In Nashville, Jennifer Reyes, News Channel 5 HD. Now, adaptive traffic signals don't come cheap. It costs $10,000 to $25,000 per intersection. Los Angeles and New York already have some intersections with adaptive traffic signals.